Hello and welcome friends. In the last video, we have seen how we can project a pentagon with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane. In today's example, we are going to project a plane that is circular plane with respect to both planes. But here I am considering that the plane is parallel to vertical plane. If it is a parallel, you can see its projection as a circle in the vertical plane that is what? in front view. So when you will be looking from the top, you can see a straight line that will be visible in top view that is in horizontal plane. So this way we can draw its projections one in vertical plane and one in horizontal plane that are respectively front view and top view. So let's start with the problem first. As per the given problem, we are supposed to draw a projection of a circle when it is resting on vertical plane and the surface or diameter of that circle is making an angle of 45 degree with vertical plane while the same diameter can be seen as making an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane so we are supposed to draw its projection we will try to visualize how it can be looked when it is tilted with respect to both the planes so friends very first of all, if it is rested in vertical plane, we are going to get its true shape of the circle in front view, that is in vertical plane. And when you will be looking for that circle from the top, you are going to get a straight line that is on XY line. So this way we are getting two views in the first stage. Now the second stage is given, one of its diameter is making angle 45 degree with vertical plane. So in the second stage, we have just tilted this circular plane at an angle of 45 degree with vertical plane. You can see this circular plane is tilted at an angle of 45 degree. So we are going to start with that top view where the surface line that is the diameter which indicates the diameter of the circle is making angle 45 degree with XY line in the top view. In the front view, you can see the projection of the circle is like a ellipse. So it can be seen as ellipse or oval in front view or in vertical plane. Now friends, once you draw this second stage, now it's time to draw the third stage where it is given that the same diameter line. Now if this is the diameter line I'm considering over here. So this would be the diameter line which, which is right now which is parallel to horizontal plane. It is going to make an angle of 30 degree with horizontal plane. So right now this parallel line parallel line of the diameter will be making angle 30 degree with horizontal plane. So you are supposed to tilt this plane 30 degree in downward. So this way we get that plane, the diameter which was parallel to horizontal plane, it is now making angle 30 degree with horizontal plane. So let's say that is the diameter. Now right now it is making what 30 degree with horizontal plane. Now you are supposed to draw its projections in front view and top view. If you are looking in the front view that is in front of vertical plane, you are going to get projection as again oval shaped in front view. And once you are going to see in the top view, again you are going to get the apparent view of the circle that would be oval shaped. So both these views are supposed to be drawn with respect to vertical plane and horizontal plane. So the final projection can be obtained like that. Now friends, we will see these projections of the circle with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane using AutoCAD. Using projection layer, I'll draw the XY line first. And then I'll go for a continuous layer and I'll draw a circle. But circle I'm going to draw in vertical plane as it is given that circle is resting on vertical plane. So we'll draw a circle in front view drag the mouse outward as diameter is given 50 give radius 25 and enter so this is what i am getting front view before you are taking projections of the circle in the top view on xy line to draw its straight line surface you must divide the circle into eight equal parts i'll go to the projection layer again i'll divide this circle into eight equal parts one vertical line one horizontal line now to draw the 45 degree lines you can measure angle or even you can rotate also I'm giving angle 45 degree enter 
then I will draw another lines, one vertical line again, and one horizontal line. So that ultimately circle will get divided into eight equal parts. You can name all these points. Like that, you can name all these points on the circle. Take the projections of all these points vertically downwards on x, y line to get its surface line. So once you get all these points on the circle, like that 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, up to 8 dash, draw straight vertical lines, projection line from all these points on x, y line to get its surface line. So to draw surface line, change the layer again to the continuous line and draw the line between these points. But make sure that you are going to draw line between the point between the intermediate points. So that every intermediate points on the line can be recognized. So if, if I'm going to select this line, only this much part of the line gets selected and, and the two intermediate points on the line can be identified. Then name these points. This would be one. This is what line indicating two dash and eight dash. So here it would be two and eight. So friends, uh, this is what the first stage will give the dimension, dimension to the circle. So we have just given dimension to the circle that is diameter 50 as it was given in the question as well. Now we'll move to the second stage where one of its diameter is making angle 45 degree with vertical plane. And as you know, if that circle is going to make the angle that's that can be looked like that straight line in top view is making the same angle with vertical plane. So we will copy this line from the top view and we'll take it on forward direction by some random distance on the same line. And then we will rotate this line. Go to the rotate command, select this line, right click, do left click on the fixed point from which you want to rotate, drag the mouse in downward direction, give angle minus 45 because we want to rotate it in clockwise direction and then enter. Now you can see the line can be looked like it is tilted at an angle of 45 degree. Even with the help of dimension, you can show the angle between the lines. Now friends, we'll take projections from each and every point in front of you. Take projection layer and draw the projection line by making ortho mode on in the front view. Draw the second line from the end point, search the end point. Here it is the end point I'm getting for two and eight. Yes, I'm projecting that line. This is like end point I'm getting for point three and seven. So I will draw the projection line from this point as well. Again, I'm getting end point for point four and six. I'll take it outward. And then at the end from point five, we'll draw the line. So just make sure that you have drawn the lines projection line from the same point itself by selecting these lines. So you can come to know that whether you have selected correct points or not. Once it is done, now you can take a reference from the first stage from each and every respective point. Take point seven. I'll draw this line seven till this mid line, which starts from seven in the top view. Draw another reference line from point eight dash and six dash till this second point. The third one dash and five dash can be drawn till the last line which starts from 5 in the top view. Then from 2 dash and 4 dash, we will draw this line 
it'll start from point four in the top view and then at the end from point three dash we'll draw this line till it starts from three and seven in top view now you can just identify you seven six five four three two one and eight this is like we are getting ellipse here between all these points so we are supposed to join all these points by a smooth curve to join all these points we will take the help of ellipse for which just change the layer to the continuous layer and come to here ellipse between axis and end point you have to select axis and end and here you are supposed to join the extreme points of the ellipse on its minor axis like I am going to restrict its end point between these two points and then I can drag the mouse outward till I get the end point on its axis line. So this is how you can create that ellipse which is passing through all these points. Then respectively you can name all these points 1 dash, 2 dash up to 8 dash. After giving naming to this front view in the second stage, now we'll go for the third stage. Now we'll move to the third stage. It is given that the same diameter is making angle 30 degree with horizontal plane, right? Or you can say the top view of the diameter is making 30 degree with horizontal plane. So to draw its inclination with respect to horizontal plane, we must tilt that object in front view only. Here I have drawn a circle, then I filled it with the help of hatch command using solid lines. Once this point is identified as a dash, like that other points also can be identified. I'm just copying that point. From this point, I'm going to place at each and every point there. So friends, once you identify all these points by giving that particular point, now you can copy this whole object in the third stage at some random distance. And then you can just rotate this object by the given angle as they are talking about the line 1 dash 5 dash because the diameter was making angle 45 degree. We will draw the projection layer between projection line between point 5 dash and 1 dash. Now this line 1 dash 5 dash which is normal which is parallel to horizontal plane. Now this line 1 dash 5 dash which is parallel to horizontal plane in this case. It will be tilted at an angle of 45 degree in the front view. So go to the rotate command rotate the object select this object fully right click do left click on the point one one dash drag the mouse and give the angle 30 degree and then enter so you can see the whole object has been tilted you can even check the dimension between this both the lines this diameter line and this xy line but is it's 30 degree or not give this dimension in continuous line now with the help of projection layer only, draw the projection line from each and every point vertically downward. Make also mode on. So friends, I have taken projection from each and every point vertically downward. Now we can take the reference from the first stage also. First stage top view. From point 5, I am going to draw a line till the line which starts from 5 dash. So from point 5 dash, draw the reference line which starts from 5 from the top and ends on the line which starts from 5 dash. From point 4 and 6, draw the line till this 4 dash. From 3 and 7, draw this line passing the 7 and 3 and then from 2 and 8 it should end on 2 covering 8 and 2 both and line from 1 it is always uh, lying on what x y line only so that very first of all we will try to recognize all these points then we will try to connect these points so I will take this so I'll just take help of this point to recognize every point in the top view. Like that here I'm getting point 2 and point 8. Where is 8? Very first line. Point 1, this is the line 1. 
so here I'm getting point one. So I got one, two, eight. This is the point three dash, and this is three. So here I'm getting point three. Same line is seven. So here I'm on seven dash line. I'm going to get seven, four and six. So this is what I'm getting four and six. This vertical line six, and at the end five. Five you are going to get at this point. So this way you have just obtained all these eight points in the top view. If you can observe this pattern of the points, you can observe that this point, four points, are exactly mirror image of these four points. The mirror line of this pattern will be acting as what major axis of that ellipse. So we'll try to draw that ellipse which will be passing through between these points. I'll take projection layer. And then I will draw a line from midpoint to midpoint, and then I will extend that line further on both sides. Right? Now you can take. Now you can choose the layer, continuous layer, and go for three axis and end ellipse. Just click any point on that axis line at some random distance. Final end point can be placed in such a way that this curve is passing through all these points. Now, if you observe carefully here, this curve is passing through all these four points, but not these two points and these two points. So, what we need here, we want to contract this ellipse. Little bit. So that it should pass through all these points. So now you can see here, this curve is passing almost through each and every point. So this would be your answer. You can identify these points and you can name those points also here. So this is like we are going to get the top view in the third stage. So this way the top view can be completed. You can name these points by identifying all these respective points. It's like we are getting point one. This is eight and two. This is eight. This one is two. Once you name all these points, this is what we have just completed our diagram of projection of circular plane with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane. So friends, once you complete the naming of this diagram in the top view, now this way we have just completed the diagram where the circle was projected with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane both. So friends, this is the projection of circular plane when it is tilted with respect to both the planes, especially when it is rested on a vertical plane. Now you can practice the same problem when it is resting in horizontal plane. Now you can think just about that. If it is resting in horizontal plane, so you are going to get the true shape of the circle in the top view. So this way you can complete the diagram. So friends, this is all about the projection of plane. I hope you understood all these concepts. In the next video, we are going to see different solids that may be prism, cone, cylinder, pyramid. And we'll try to project all these solids with respect to vertical plane as well as horizontal plane. So friends, practice these problems and thank you very much for watching.